Hey guys, so today we're making fried pies, pastels. Hey guys, so first of all, before we start, <clears throat> I have flu, so I don't sound good. So we're making fried pies, okay? And so that <clears throat> I have here my flour, I have sugar, salt, and baking powder, my fish. <clears throat> spring onion green bell pepper i have butter oil and chili flakes this is optional but it makes a difference and then i have um nutmeg okay <coughs> <coughs> i'm so sorry all right so um i'm going to be doing less talking today okay because of my voice <coughs> so yeah, I'm going to add my dry ingredients to the flour. <clears throat> and then the nutmeg. I'll write it down, okay? I'm going to write everything we need down, so don't worry. Give it a mix. <clears throat> my oil so instead of butter we want to use oil for this one trust me it works perfectly better than the butter and then you want to go in with your water and then you give it a mix okay so now that is all mixed together you want to knead this for just two minutes not so much just wanted to get it together properly okay so here I have the dough you don't really need to knead the dough like you're making bread okay so you leave it to rest for about five or ten minutes okay I'll set that aside and then here, I'm going to mix my filling as well. So if you do not have um, tin fish or you're not using tin fish, you want to do this and leave it to cool down. If you have to cook your fish, you do that. So just a little bit. You don't put pepper in um, pie, but just a tiny little bit. It actually makes a difference. And then you want to mix it together. You can also use a minced meat, you can use chicken, you can use vegetable, just vegetable, okay? I don't like tuna for pies, but the fish I use for the, my pie, I don't see in the shop anymore, so I'm now forced to use tuna. So here, um, the dough has rested enough, and I'm going to, I mean, what you want to do, yeah, <clears throat> is divide it into two, set one aside, and then go ahead and roll this as flat as possible. But I don't have the space, and also because I'm filming, <clears throat> so I'm going to do this in smaller pieces as possible okay so yeah i'm going to roll this out and you need the help of flour as much as possible okay <clears throat> so here my roller what i'm going to do is to roll and roll and roll until it's very thin almost like a sheet of paper almost okay so i'll do that and then i'll come back and show you <clears throat> so what you want to do is as you roll um you sprinkle flour and then you roll that way it makes it easier for you okay so i have my desired um thickness so 
me show you. Look at that. It's very thin. You can see. Yeah, this is how you want it to look like. Very, very thin as possible. And then you can also make whatever size that <clears throat> you want. Okay, so I'm going to use sorry I'm going to use the cover of my pot and also because it has this sharp edge that's what I, I kept this for okay press on hard and that's it so I guess I'm gonna get just two <clears throat> out of it press it yeah that's it so look at it this is how you want your sheet to look like okay and then I'm going to place that here and go ahead and roll the rest and cut them out okay oh dear that's it and then you want to sprinkle some flour on top of this one before you place the next one so they don't stick together okay so let's get on with the next one so i later realized that i didn't record this bit after i added my filling i dip my hand in water rub it around the pastry flip it over and then use a fork to seal it down properly that was just about that so all done this is pretty this is how it should look like okay so um i'm heating up my oil and then we go ahead and fry so here we go you also don't want to overcrowd your oil okay okay so this looks good for me if you want it to have more color you just leave it for some um, minutes more okay so my fried for seven minutes okay so on to the next fudge So guys, this is what we have, pastels or fried pies, okay? And then, do you know the excess from when you cut the, um, the shape you want? Yeah, you don't throw them away. All you do is just put them in the oil and then you get your flaky shapes. Look at that. Yeah. Very, very crunchy okay so this is our fried pie recipe <clears throat> um i hope you um enjoy and find it easy to make and for the i'm going to write everything down but for the filling i won't put measurement you can add as much as everything you want in there just don't overcrowd it when you're when you're adding i'm sorry when you're adding it to your um, pastry okay and be sure to tight um the ends properly otherwise it's going to open up while frying and you don't want that okay <clears throat> i'm sorry if i um edit and i realize i left anything out i'm gonna write it down i'm not feeling so good i'm really really sorry all right so thank you so much please don't forget to like and comment subscribe and share do all the beautiful things and i will see you soon bye